Hello everybody, I'm back again. I would like to explain you in a short film the application of our products because this is very important. I have already uh, shown you that uh, there are uh, absorbent or non-absorbent surfaces. This is a non-absorbent surface, it's glass, it could be the window of your house. So what is very important when you take the product that fits to the surface you want to protect uh, with the non-absorbent surface it's not very uh, difficult. Uh, the surface just has to be clean. That means uh, uh, if you take stone for example or wood uh, or glass, uh, just make sure that the surface is clean. You can clean it normally and best is after cleaning uh, please clean it once more just with water. So when you have cleaned the surface try to rinse it with water and then make it dry. So you can be sure that the surface is uh, not dirt. So you just spray on the surface, then you take a, a towel or a, a piece of paper, for example I take this towel and then you just polish it. You polish so long until you see that there is no more product left. I don't know if you can see it in the film, but it's not very important to see it in the film. So you just polish it until it's completely dry, sorry, not wet, completely dry. And then uh, uh, you wait, uh, um, depending on the surface, let's wait half an hour or even one hour. Don't do the windshields, for example, of your car or the windows of your house, just when it's raining, of course. So do it dry it by polishing and then just wait that it gets uh, really dry and it works. If you have an absorbent surface, I take this uh, shirt for example, uh, it's, it's important. Um, people sometimes make uh, the, the mistake that they put too much product on it. Uh, I try to explain that, you know, if you see this the kind of textile, uh, don't go uh, like this onto the textile and no, not this way either. So let's say 20 centimeters, 25, something like this. You see how the spray is coming out, you know. So just put some liquid on it. This is already enough. You, you look at the, at the textile in this way and then you see that there is a kind of wet film on it. You can also feel that. If you feel this wet film, then you know it should be okay. So now you just let it dry uh, in the sun or even in the house. Or you can use an iron. With the iron, of course, it's dry. It's dry. Let's have to, you pass the iron, it's immediately dry. Or you can use a hair dryer. Well, in, in normal life, people are not using hair dryers. You know, you can use a hair dryer if you want to make a demonstration, but normally you just let it dry normally or with the iron. Uh, and then make the test, you know, if, if you did it and it's dry and you put some water on it and it works, it's, it's okay. It, 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 for example, if, if it doesn't work, that means you did not put enough product, so do it just once more. It's normal that at the beginning you probably do one once or twice uh, uh, before you know it. You know, I have uh, friends or clients worldwide, uh, they use it once, in, in, it immediately works, but there is one on, of 10, uh, it doesn't work immediately because they did a little, little mistake. So don't be afraid of that, just check it. What is very important is don't put too, don't put too much product on it. Uh, if you have drops on, on, on the surface, or really it's really wet, so, so it doesn't work because imagine that uh, uh, if it's wet, uh, uh, you have to dry this wet uh, material and it w this will be difficult. Uh, please remember what I told you about the glass when I explained you in the other films what is nanotechnology. If you have to put a very thin uh, coating of glass on a surface, imagine you put a very thin glass uh, coating and then you uh, put it on the surface with an iron uh, this is what happens, you know, but you don't see it, of course, but this is what happens. Imagine that you would put this kind of glass on the textile. You cannot put that anymore on the surface because it's too thick. So that is also the reason why don't put too much product on the surfaces. Uh, just put enough that you have a wet film. I repeat, 
on a non-absorbing surface it's not really a problem because if you put too much it goes down then you polish it and by polishing it you polish everything on the surface but on the on, on the absorbent surface uh, where you don't have this polish work where you only have the, the, the drying with the sun or the iron it's difficult different so don't put too much product on it and uh, it should not be a problem so I hope this helps you thank you